Oh, All right. Too meta. We are back uh, as our party continues to adventure towards the center of the plane. All right. Say, as we're all like sitting there, ready to put our hands in the door, say, "All right, guys, this is a good way to get in the huddle." Now, here's what we know: those robots said their big sister was in here. We keep hearing this woman. I'm pretty much an imagining that she's the big sister. So we hear we got a female robot, right? And we got, I'm assuming JoJo's a male. So what I'm thinking, she keeps going on TikTok, TikTok. And I was about to say at one point, what's the matter, lady? You got a date or something? And then it occurred to me, maybe she does. Maybe she's on the prowl. I don't know, Jojo. You, th you think you could, you ready for this? So I'm thinking now, I know it might be hard to believe, but back in the day, I had it going on, man. Now, not so much anymore, but I can teach you the moves. And so I'm gonna, um, all right, say, all right, Jojo, watch and learn. And I'm gonna go in, into like a full moonwalk and then back into the robot dance. All the, these wonderful 80s moves. So you got all you got all that, Jojo? Malcolm will will watch for a moment and then say, Jojo, pay attention. This is important. Jojo will look intently. All right. And now I get up the chalk. Let's give you some abs there, Jojo. Kind of try to make them up a little bit, give you know like a little, like a little highlight, like these robot abs with the white chalk. Excellent. Wait, see, then we got this contour, and that's that's what I, I've been, I've been watching all the social media. It's all about contour. And I know this looks kind of stupid here, but in the candlelight, it's gonna look great. Jojo. You look fantastic. You look ready. You got it going on, Jojo. Wait, you yeah. haven't taught him the secret move. And uh, um, this is what we do at these noble parties. And uh, I get back, I drop the sword and shield, and I, I start doing the worm. And I say, that is how you impress the lady. And then as in his like last one, he like does the worm and it jumps onto his feet. And he's like, that's how you do it. And uh, I'll pick up his sword and shield. I'll and lean over it. to Malcolm. Have him erase his memory that last part. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, you know what? Actually, can I get a performance check actually, or like something like that? Or uh, sure. I want to see if they're amazed. So which sure. one should I do? Uh, if you can, you can do it with dexterity if you want, because you're dancing. Uh, performance, I think, is normally with charisma. So, if you'd rather do it with, if you would no, rather, rather do, do it a dexterity charisma. check, like uh, like acrobatics, that's fine with me. Acrob I'd rather do. I have a plus three in performance and a zero in dex or uh, acrobatics. So. Okay, yeah, acrobatics or or performance. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're definitely gonna want Jojo, Jojo to erase that. Just just turn away, <laughs> Jojo. <laughs> okay. So instead of jumping onto his feet, he like on the second one, he like smashes his face into the ground. And he's like, he's like rolling in pain. He's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and he says, okay. Too much work. And, and yeah, then Jojo. I think... <laughs> then Jojo right at the end. You want to come on up on her? Do a little <laughs> shoulder touch and go, hey. Said a little deeper than that. You want to practice, Jojo? Hey. Hey. Stare is important. Hey. Hey. 
I don't know. I, I, I can't do that part anymore. You'll have to figure that out, out yourself, Jojo, but I believe in you. You got the mojo, Jojo. Yeah, demonstrate got the mojo. So Jojo has been standing there, like, impassionate, just kind of staring, and then turns, looks at Zyke, and says, Hey. I, I think you need to turn the mojo dial up a bit more there, Malcolm. Yeah, we'll, we'll work on like, it. Like, I think we need it on 11. Yeah, we'll work on it. All right. I'll find the mojo dial, and I'll draw 11 <laughs> on it with the chalk. All right. I think we're ready. All right. You all... Uh, after whatever that was, prepare yourselves <laughs> to move through the door. Strategy. That was some good team team bonding. Um, so you place your hands on the door and prepare to move through. Uh, unless there's anything else. Nope. Uh, let's go. All right. You all um, move through the door. And on the other side, you are once again greeted with a not so deep, but quite wide room here. Oh, come on, two of those damn things. Immediately in your face are two mysterious orbs. Uh, there are lizard folk and dire wolves to either side of you. Uh, and tucked behind some pillars, you see some other lizard folk poking out. Um, yeah. Let's go ahead. I'm going to remove everyone's initiative uh, and we will re-roll as I start the combat music. I'm going to do batch groups for, for the lizard folk and dire wolf, if that's OK. If you'd rather I rolled individually, I can do that. Uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? Yeah, I mean, I'm fine that's, that's, that's fine. Cool. It makes it go quicker, too. Yeah. 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 OK. We'll just have to see what luck holds. All right. Well, Zagig, you go first. There's some bullshit here. What's the next room just gonna be? Lizard man, wolves, the leprechaun. I'm gonna uh, so let's take the corner. One, two, three. Uh, four. I think I'm f actually before I get within, yeah, because I was kind of looking at it, realizing, okay, it's, it's taking up those squares, even though it doesn't look like it. So I'll hit it with a firebolt first. Yeah, so really quick, the dire wolves take up like that. Yeah, because I was just, that space was looking empty over here, and then I was like, oh no, I, the, oh, I'm yeah. getting adjacent, so. That's fine. So first the firebolt. At which one, the dire wolf? Yes. Okay. They got uh, the trip attacks. Twenty will attack or will hit. Thirteen damage. Woof. I'm like I feel like fate really wants to trip us. Let's take down these dire wolves. All right. So it's three, four, five, six. I will now rapier. Uh, an 11 will not hit. It's still a magic plus one weapon, though. A 12 will not hit. 12? Damn, I thought these things had like 12 AC. 14. Shoot. Um, and item interaction, draw the short sword. 
and try to hit it with a short sword. Where's short sword? 12 will not hit. 12 will also miss, but I can keep moving. Yes. All right. So I've got two more squares of movement. Yeah, so up here you can see a lizard folk shaman. Uh, they are wielding um, some sort of spell casting focus, uh, for probably a staff with a crystal on the end of it. All right, we got a shaman. Okay, anything else? Uh, that's pretty much everything I could possibly do. Okay. Uh, the mysterious orbs will continue their erratic movement. I will roll for the top mysterious orb, which will go two to the northwest up here. Uh, not interacting with anybody. Uh, and the bottom one will move two up. Funk, funk there Malcolm Malcolm pulls a canister from out of his bandolier his last one and chucks it into the group here creating a web Ooh, web go ahead and link web for us this is your last level two spell slot yep. all right let me grab my web art asset here Okay, this is a 20-foot cube. I think it pretty much gets everyone in here. Uh, oh, there we go. Unk. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Oh, a 20-foot cube. Yeah, that's 20, right? Uh, it's 15? Uh, oh. So I see it as from this corner to this corner. Oh, okay, there we go. I can, I suppose, split hairs, do this. I'll just draw a, uh, a white circle around it. And I think if you put it between the pillars, it'll also get the lizard folk. Oh, uh, the shaman? Yeah. In the back? Yeah, that totally will. Hmm. Yeah, it's it's not really getting the direwolf and the other lizard folk over here very much, but I suppose that's how the spell works. Okay, so uh, each creature that starts its turn in the webs or enters them must save on a on a deck save there. Okay. All right. Anything else from you, Malcolm? Uh, gonna move. Hmm. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to stay right where I am. All right. Jojo is going oh. to move up to here. Okay. The dire wolves will go. Um, these dire wolves need to make dexterity saving throws against your spell save for the web, DC 14. Um, the dire wolf on the left down here will go for the deck save. Passing. The dire wolf on the right will go. Passing. So they will break out uh, and move up here. They've got plenty of movement. Two, and they're going to come over here. And they are going to both attack Macbeth with pack tactics. A 22 and a 24. Macbeth, those hit. Sorry. Yeah, uh, 22 and a 24. Yeah, they're both hit. All right. Take 19 piercing damage and give me two dexterity, or excuse me, strength saving throws or be knocked prone. Mm, strength saving? Okay. Yeah. There is uh, a failure in there unless you've got some something up your sleeve here. No, I get... Mm. I get an extra plus three because of my aura, but uh, yeah, still that's doesn't do me good. Still an 11. Okay, you are knocked prone. All right, the other two dire wolves get to go. Uh, 
they they do not like these mysterious orbs being in the way. Uh, so uh, this dire wolf here is in fact going to back up, provoking an attack of opportunity from you, even though you're prone, Macbeth. Okay. I'll if you'd like, it. you don't have to. Um. Yeah. Why not? Okay. Uh, a you have disadvantage because you are on the ground. A thirteen misses, so the direwolf will move. This direwolf will loop around here, uh, and will attack you with advantage because you're both prone and because it has pack tactics. An eighteen, although will not break through your armor though. This direwolf up here is going to dodge. There's there's <laughs> no way in for it. Um, so that brings us to the lizard folk shaman. Uh, the lizard folk shaman are going to peek their heads out here. Uh, the, this one on the south though needs to make a dexterity saving throw against the web, which it passes DC 14. Uh, so I need to move my web asset here for a second while this shaman moves, uh, over here for five feet of movement. 10, 15, 20, 25. Uh, we'll check the range here. Okay. Uh, Macbeth, uh, it is going to target you uh, from the south here, uh, like this, with heat metal. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh, it's going to choose your armor. You're wearing splint, correct? Yeah. Do okay. I get a save, or...? Uh, let's see here. Uh, choose a manufactured metal object, such as a metal weapon or a suit of heavy or medium metal armor that you can see within range. You cause the object to glow red hot. Any creature in physical contact with the object takes 2d8 fire damage when you cast the spell. Uh... The spell save DC 12. If a creature is holding or wearing the object and takes damage from it, the creature must succeed on a con save or drop the object object if it can. If it doesn't drop the object, this doesn't say anything about saving to not take damage, though. Yeah, heat metal That's automatically true. hits. Yeah. So we have to stop concentration is what we have to do. Okay, so this lizard folk is concentrating for one minute. Uh, and this will expire on round 603. So I'm going to put a three on it uh, to remind myself on the next round uh, that ends in three. Um, so uh, when the spell is cast, take 2d8 fire damage. Go ahead and take seven fire damage, Macbeth. Oh, it's looking dicey. <laughs> Until the spell ends, you can use a bonus action on each of your subsequent turns to cause this damage again. Okay. Uh, the shaman will move around the web with its final remaining movement and come over here. Uh, the other lizard folk shaman up here. Malcolm, what armor are you wearing? Oh, he's wearing metal armor, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Wonderful. Uh, We're going to do the same thing to you. I'm wearing scale mill, so if that counts as metal. Yep, it's scale it as well. It does, it does. We're gonna target Malcolm with this, however. Wait, actually, before we do that, it says you did lizard folk, but not the thing that uh, the dexterity check for the lizard folk. But is that lizard folk shaman or whatever? Is that the same? Do they have the same dice? They have the same dice. Sorry, okay. and I in fact had to copy the lizard folk um, character sheet to to make the shaman sheet. Um, okay. So it just wanted to make sure the rolls might b just both appear as as lizard folk um because the sheets might actually share the same name okay. uh so uh this lizard folk shaman will also cast heat metal once again so malcolm take 2d8 fire damage in the form of nine fire damage and this shaman lizard folk will be concentrating as well uh and they will use their remaining movement to come over here macbeth it is your turn. I uh, will use my movement to get up, or half of it. Sorry, is it half? It is half. Okay, I'm looking at this dicey situation. Uh, 
I am going to. Oh god. I think I'm gonna have to. Uh, I think I'm gonna dodge. Okay, Macbeth is dodging. Any movement? Anything else? Um, no. Okay, Georgie. Yes. Um. Ooh, that is looking dicey. So this is. Uh. Yeah, I guess two. I don't know if I can afford to do that. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, why'd you have to put us in this situation, Nick? Why'd you have to do it? Why'd you have to do it? Um, I guess One first... One way or another, <laughs> I'm gonna find you. Uh, well, we'll see. I'm gonna cast uh, uh, Radiant uh, or Oh my gosh. Sacred Flame? It's, yeah, my mind's sputtering out. Uh, I'm gonna cast it on this Shaman. Okay. You call down Radiant Flame, but the Lizard Folk Shaman oh, manages to dodge out of the way. God. Any movement for you? Um, no. Okay. Uh, the Lizard Folk will go next. Uh, this Lizard Folk will come up here uh, and close with Zagig, multi-attacking with a heavy club for 16 and a spike shield for 23. 16 is a hit. I'm AC 16. All right. Go ahead and take 10 damage for me. Uh, this Lizard Folk will move right here to cover the Shaman. They will throw a Javelin, I believe at George, who's in range, with a 13 missing. Uh, the two lizard folk down below need to make dexterity saving throws because they start their turn in the web. Left will pass, right will pass. Um, so they will both move out of the web. Over here. Um, this one will come over here, this one will come over here. Uh, and they are both going to throw javelins at Georgie, who has cover from the dire wolves. So you have plus two AC, Georgie. Uh, 12 and a 17. 17 probably doesn't hit. Nope. I would oh. have uh, 20. Okay. Uh, oh, did I roll for each of the lizard folk shaman? I sure did. Oh. <laughs> I sure did. This one's going to take five damage for going out of turn and make a con save, which they pass, uh, and they already had their turn. Zagig, your turn. All right. Uh, one, two short sword strike on that one. This is your, your offhand attack? Yes, that's my bonus action. Cool. Which I'm going to take first so I can move away from him. Mm -hmm. uh, 13 will not hit. That's okay, just got me moving. Yeah. Three. Basically, bonus four, action disengage. Five. Yep. And I see the shaman. Mm hmm. And I'm going to firebolt him. Okay, an 11 goes a little wide. And then I am going to close with him and see if I can break his concentration with the rapier attack. All right. The plus one rapier for being a magic weapon. Will hit for nine for piercing damage. It's nice. plus one, so 10. Oh, 10. Yeah, very good, very good. And the lizard folk will make a constitution saving throw, passing. Damn. All right, anything else for you? Um, that's all I can do now. I was, we need to break concentration as fast as we can. Indeed. All right, the mysterious orbs will go next. Uh, okay. We're going to have to roll for their movement. We'll start with the one on the far left up above. 
moves a knight's move down, down, and right. Uh, this will result in Georgie being in its in its uh, chaotic discharge. Uh, so let me roll the damage type. Give me a, a ooh force damage. Give me a Constitution saving throw, Georgie. All right. DC ten. Oh, plus three no. from me. Plus, plus oh, three I get from the plus me. three. <laughs> get the plus three from me. You sure aura. do. You ooh. sure do. Force damage uh, just waves out, but you feel like. Like your fate is to not be hit. You just barely find yourself leaning backwards out of the effect of the area. Now the other orb, uh, the orb on the right will move. It will go uh, two, is that right? Yeah, two down. Uh, one, two. All right, something else is going to happen that is different. Uh, overwhelming energy. If for any reason a character and the mysterious orb occupy the same space, the overwhelming body of energy stuns the creature and deals 1d10 damage of the type. Uh, they may repeat, or they may make a saving throw to pull away at the start of their turn. Okay, so uh, the dire wolf will take... Oh, I rolled a random <laughs> stat, not a random elemental type. Uh, it will take acid damage and is stunned. It takes a lot of acid damage. Okay. Uh, so this dire wolf will stun. Which is hard to see because the mysterious orb's sort of in the way. All right, that brings us to Malcolm. Uh, you all are getting really boxed in here, but uh, the mysterious orbs uh, are, are moving towards the dire wolves. What do you do? Is Do I have a line of sight on this lizard folk down here? Ooh, let's take a look at your your vision here. I see a little bit peeking out. A little bit. And you ignore cover. Like a boss. <sighs> this is ridiculous. I guess so. <laughs> All right, sharpshooter. Well, let me look at what is full cover. Is that just like comp completely surrounded? Yeah, it's this like you can't see it at all. Obscured. Okay. All right. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> so dejected by it. Uh, 17. That will hit. For 16. For 16, which kills this lizard folk oh. shaman. Macbeth, oh, be that name. Macbeth, you are no longer uh, sizzling. All right. And uh, Malcolm will redirect his other shot to this dire wolf to the south. Okay. Sharpshooter. All right. Miss. Ooh. All oh, right, and then say, Jojo, get in there and help Macbeth. Mm. He showed you that cool move. You can't let him down now. <laughs> Wonderful. And Jojo will go in and, yeah, he'll he'll try and bite the dire, dire wolf. Okay. The A 20. 20 will hit for 11 force damage. Big damage from Jojo. Oh, max damage from Jojo. Well done. All right, the dire wolves will go next. Uh, this dire wolf is no longer dodging up here. Um, this dire wolf will attempt to stop being stunned by the overwhelming energy. It can make a DC 15 con save, which it fails and continues to be stunned. Um, and additional damage, right? Yeah. They, are, they continue to be stunned and take another d10 of damage. Of thunder damage. They take uh, an amount. <laughs> uh, the other dire wolves, however, still have their turn. Uh, this dire wolf will attack Macbeth, I think. Let's take a look at pack tactics. I'm interested. The wolf has advantage on attack roll against a creature if at least one of the wolf's allies is within five feet of the creature and the ally is not incapacitated. Their ally is incapacitated. Uh, so they have a normal attack against you, Macbeth. I'll impose disadvantage. Uh, no, actually, I already have disadvantage from my dodge. Oh, that's true. Okay. Uh, well, it misses. Um okay. Uh, this wolf is going to move up here and flank Zagig here. 
Um, and it is going to attack you with pack tactics, Zagig. Uh, a 19. Take 11 piercing damage and give me a DC 13 strength check, please. All right, that's not going to be good. One uh -oh. man. Uh-oh. Uh, let's see. Ooh, you make the save and are not knocked prone. Uh, meanwhile, this dire wolf is going to... Uh, How much damage did I take? 11. 11? 11. 11. Going, this dire wolf is just going to move over here, I think, and dodge. Um, and now the lizard folk shaman will go. Uh, they will use a bonus action to use the heat metal on. Oh, who is that on Malcolm? I think that was on Malcolm. Yeah. Uh, so you will take two d eight fire. And also, did that thing pass? The dire wolf pass through that orbs. Uh five foot no it, it ran around okay. i i have the orb oh wait the orb yeah it'd be oh. within five feet through ten right yeah it sure did i i kind of goofed that it was shifted a little bit okay um the type of damage will be nope that's the stat psychic damage so it needs to make a wisdom save which it is okay at it will pass. Um, okay, the lizard folk shaman uses its bonus action to heat metal, which I believe is another two d eight. Yep. Take a look at the heat metal one more time. Bonus action on your sub subsequent turns to cause this damage again. Cool. So uh, go ahead and take eight damage, Malcolm. Uh, and the lizard folk shaman doesn't like how close you are. Uh, Zagig. Um, but it has lots of concentration spells. It's going to... Uh, it's going to thorn whip you. Uh, so it needs to make a melee attack at you. With a natural one missing. The, like, Whip it back over his head to hit me and get his buddy in behind him. I don't think so. It's not one. Come on. <laughs> I mean, good good comedy, want, man. Do you want the direwolf pulled right on top of you? <laughs> um, and the shaman is going to stay right there. Uh, Macbeth, it's your turn. Hey, I'm gonna take. Um, I'm gonna attack this guy twice. Okie dokie. Um, actually, yeah, I'm gonna attack this guy twice. Ooh, a critical hit and a 14 misses. But uh, 13 damage is gonna be pretty good uh, having its current HP. And uh, I'm gonna end my. Uh, actually, I move out to go. Here, I'm gonna rotate this to kind of represent the squares it's taken up. Yeah, okay, I should. I'm, uh, no, I'm gonna stay here. Yeah. Okay. That brings us to Georgie's turn. Um, I'm going to first, uh, again, attack the lizard shaman with the. Uh, sacred fun. Okay. They pass again. Oh, oh it's so close. Geez. Man. Um. Sorry, I'm just waiting the risk of staying here with the orb. Uh, yeah, I guess. Um, I'll take the chance. I'll just risk it right here. You're going to stay here? Yeah, I'm going to risk it. Okay. Um, well, I wrote these I wrote these orbs poorly. If you stay in their space, that you, you do not 
suffer the effect of the discharge. That's how it's done, correct? It, uh, yeah, the way I wrote it, if a creature moves within five feet of the orb for any reason, it releases a discharge. Okay. Okay. Uh, the lizard folks go. Um, this lizard folk will run up to Zagig and multi-attack with a heavy club missing, spike shield missing. Uh, this lizard folk up here is going to... Throw a javelin at Zagig, uh, who has plus two AC from the dire wolf missing. Uh, that lizard folk will move over here. These two lizard folk by the door are going to throw spears at Malcolm, who has plus two AC from all of the cover from the wolves and Georgie and Macbeth. Um, I think they might have to get a little closer. Yeah, this one needs to get a little closer here. Oop. Um, so they will both javelin at Malcolm. With a nat one and a critical hit for 13 damage. Oof. Can I get a constitution saving throw on the web? You pass. Um, these lizard folk will take position back here. Uh, and it is the Lizard Folk Shaman's turn, who you will use a bonus action to deal 2d8 damage to Malcolm for the heat metal. Take nine more damage and one more con save, please. Your HP is looking real low there, Malcolm. It's looking real low. All right, you pass your save. Uh, the Shaman will look to Zagig, who is surrounded and yet still very threatening with his combos of throwing cantrip spells and stabbing, stabbing, stabbing. Uh, the shaman gives gives you a, a look of fearful respect um, as he strikes at you with a thorn whip attack. And the shaman takes five damage because he already had his turn. Did he? Yeah. Yes, he already oh, thorn whipped me wrong, and got a one. This is the wrong shaman. Yep, I forgot to get rid of that one. <laughs> yeah. yes. Five damage, shaman. Take Roll five. your were, concentration. I like that we're fishing for him. They <laughs> fail. Oh, life is good. All right, Malcolm, with two HP, uh, your the armor you wear you are wearing begins to no longer betray you. Uh, and Zagig, it is your turn. All right. Now, um, short sword attack on the doggy. Okie dokie. A 16 will hit. All right, it's only the D6, so it's only the one. <laughs> That's enough that I can start to get away from him. A little bit, yeah. Oop. Um, I am going to stab the um, the lizard folk shaman mm -hmm. with the rapier. Which will miss. Yeah, it's a 12. Does he have a shield? He does not have a shield. Okay. Yeah. And the other attack I'll oh, make that's on... That's a 12, right? Yes. Okay, that just still does not hit. Yeah. All right. And the last rapier attack on the one just to the north of me. Okay. Ooh, that one hits. Or... I clicked it. Six damage. Go. All right, and I am now fully mobile. That's two, Ugh. three. I gotta get to the. I'm the just party. imagining this Bernie Sanders <laughs> elf. Just with blades in hand, just like bay blading around the battlefield and just like spinning like a like a ballerina while flurry of blows are just unleashed on everything. Alright, so you move towards the mysterious uh, orb. Six. Okay. 
I can move eight. Let's see. Uh, I don't want to get near that dang orb. I can go down and from just about anything right now. I guess seven, eight. Oh, he has a healing. Wait, is, it, is, there, is there still one over here? There is a lizard folk over there, yes. Oh, I thought that one had moved over to me. Oh, dang. Well, I got myself in trouble. Front row. Is that it? Yep, that's it. All right, let's move these mysterious chaotic orbs. Let's start with the one on top, which rolls two to the left. Oh, no. Malcolm and Georgie, give me... <sighs> Uh, lightning, which is going to be a dexterity saving throw DC 10. Plus three. Plus three. You both pass as lightning just erupts uh, like one of those, what are those balls that you touch them and they just like zap where your fingers are touching the plastic? A Tesla thing? Isn't that like a, that a test form throw? of a test? It, I think it's uh, I don't know what it like is. a cheaper version of like a test. Sure. Uh, and now the orb that is locking down this dire wolf. Two to the right. Ooh. Does it get the damage, or is no, that only on No, no, it's like okay. at the end of the movement. All right, and now it is Malcolm's turn. So moving out of the range of this orb will trigger the effect. No. It will not. It will if you move into Georgie's space. So I'd have to move into JoJo's space, which would be squeezing, and then I have to move past a dark that I can't even do. You can you can move diagonally like that. Okay, I think that's what Malcolm has to do. But you'll be provoking an away from the direwolf, and and it will have advantage because you'll be squeezing at that point. You know what? Let's roll the dice. Malcolm stays where he is. Okie dokie. And first thing is uh, taking a shot at this lizard, lizard folk. Okay. With, um, yeah, with sharpshooter. Okay. That will hit, and it will kill the kill the lizard okay. folk oh. shaman. Uh, Georgie, both of your uh, um, sacred flames would have killed it if it had. Taken yeah. It. <laughs> uh. uh I and the other you have one. You an advantage on this. Oh, that's true. Yeah, a direwolf. Okay. Sharpshooter. Uh, you have advantage Indeed. because they're still stunned, even though the orb has moved off of them. Uh, so that's that's going to be 21. 20, 21 damage. Oof. All right. And then command Jojo. Jojo, get that direwolf. Uh, they're attacking to the south. Yep. 20 will hit for five. Okay. And now, unless there's anything else, the dire wolves will go. Oh, no. All righty. This one is finally unstunned. Uh, and they will both... Uh, uh, this dire wolf is going to come right in here and tuck in between these orbs and I'll turn it and I reflect its its space. Um, this dire wolf is going to run down here and and get at Zagig. We're going to start with the dire wolf attacking Zagig with a bite. Okay. A 15. It's a miss. I've got 16. Oh, right, because of mage armor. Um, yep. Down below, uh, two of the dire wolves are going to attack Georgie. They have pack tactics. Uh, the first one up top will attack Georgie with a critical hit for 12 damage, and I need a DC 13 strength saving throw from Georgie. Uh, the other one already has advantage from pack tactics, so being prone doesn't really help against Georgie, but it will attack with a 23. I, I will take my uh, sentinel attack on it. Okay. Ooh, you also score a critical hit. So, uh, Georgie, take a total of 12 plus 11 is 23 damage to Georgie this round and two DC 13 strength saves. 
Meanwhile, the second direwolf is killed. Uh, the third direwolf will go, who no longer has pack tactics, so they will just bite. Oh, no. Let's just have them take over this space right here. Uh, and they will also attack Georgie with pack tactics, a 22 to hit for another five. Yeah. So, Georgie, you've suffered 28 damage this round. And I need three strength, strength saves. You good, Georgie? Oh, wait, you were attacking me with all those? Yes. Yeah. Oh, take, take sorry, 20. for some reason I thought I heard Macbeth taking those. No. So I'm just sitting there like, <laughs> okay, Georgie, sorry. take 23 damage and give me three strength saving throws. My bad, sorry. It's all I was, good. I was... <laughs> oh, wait, does... I was that, lost deep uh, in thought. This one gets a... JoJo should have attack opportunity on this, right? Yeah. Yes, JoJo has an attack oh, of opportunity good on call. that one. I was lost deep in thought. <laughs> A 16 uh, will hit. So, one. For six force damage, which is one shy of killing oh, it. Wow. Yeah, so I fail on the first strength save. Okay, you are prone then. Uh, uh, Macbeth, it is your turn. Okay, I'm going to own this guy over here. And, <laughs> uh. You own them, they have one HP. Okay, and then I am going to, um, I'm gonna attack this guy as well. Okay. And... You hit them with a 19 for six slashing damage. Anything else? Nope. All right, Georgie, you've been just chomped at by dire wolves and there's a mysterious orb behind you. What do you do? Yeah. Oh, man. I didn't want to have to pull this out, but I think I don't have a choice anymore. <laughs> All right. I'm using my channel Divinity. Um, so let me uh, link that in chat. He has healing power. He can make the wolves heal. <laughs> I use channel Divinity. Um, and specifically, the one I'm using is Harness Divine Power so that I get a spell slot back. Ooh, okay. So you use a bonus action to regain a spell slot equal to no higher than half your proficiency bonus rounded up. So a level two spell slot. Oh, so our calculations yes, on how much healing you can do were in fact not correct. Correct. Oh my gods. Uh, but I have to use it here. Ah, uh, God, this sucks. Um, yeah. And I will use... Um, and I'll take a first level spell slot back so that I can use um, Sanctuary on uh, Zagig. Okay. I'm, you don't need to. I've, I've still got shield. Well, this stays with you for a minute. Yeah, but I'm going to be attacking shit. There Oh, all right. you. There's nobody it's else too gonna late. hit. It's There's badass. nobody else they're going to hit. So they're going to be coming after you. All right. So you have Sanctuary on you. Let's give you a aura there. All right. Any movement, George? All right, do, you, um, do you stand up? Uh, yeah, I stand up. And then I'm also going to use my Shillelagh to attack since that didn't cost an action to do. Uh Oh, wait. Well, okay. Hang on. You can't do both of these. Uh, and attack because the channel divinity is a bonus action. Sanctuary is also a bonus action, which will use your regular action. Because it's a bonus action? They are both bonus Let's actions. So the sanctuary is your main action. Since you've already used your bonus action. Okay. Yeah, I guess I just never saw this had a bonus action, I think. Okay. Any further movement? Um, so does that mean that Sanctuary didn't go off then? I assume, because I had to use... No, it, yeah, don't, don't worry about Sanctuary me. Okay. I'm, I'm confused. So, the way I interpreted this is you when you use a bonus action and then you use another 
like spell or something that requires a bonus action, that uses your regular action uh, instead because you've already used your bonus action. Um, and normally, if you have put the spell card in here and not been like, oh, let's look at this, if you say, like, I'm casting Sanctuary and you and you hit the spell card, that, to me, reads as cast, but we can take that back. Oh. You'd like no, your I, action I guess back. I just, I don't know, my mind, like, really confused, I guess. No, I was, uh, assuming because I used a bonus action, I was still at my action left. You normally would, but you used yeah. two bonus action things, which... Oh, I guess I didn't realize I did. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, um... That's fine. Yeah, I can take out five points if you want as well. Okay, why don't you take five damage and then you can have your action back. And oh. and your sp and your spell slot. Okay. If that... Sure. Yeah, I guess I'm just Mr. Um, okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so you're going to shillelagh the dire wolf or yeah. something else? Yeah. That will hit. Ooh, big Whoa. damage. Whoa, that takes out half of what it had. Uh, anything else from you, Georgie? Uh, it's... Okay. All right, the lizard folk will go. Uh, this one is going to come over to Zagig and is going to multi-attack with the heavy club with a 21 or 8 bludgeoning damage. that shoot 21 is too much for even shield dang if only help. if only you had sanctuary yeah, yeah true but i thought the shield would get me out of it all right down i go zagig is down the lizard folk will climb over your body uh having spent most of its movement i i think it'll stop there uh, and it cannot use multi-attack with a ranged attack, so it's done. Uh, this lizard folk will come over here, and this looks like a straight shot at Malcolm to me. It does. So it will fire a javelin at you with three piercing damage, exceeding your current HP by one. And Malcolm falls. And these two lizard folk uh, over here are both going to fire javelins at Georgie, who has plus two AC from the cover from the dire wolf. Uh, an 18. Both miss. Will miss. Okay. Zagig, your first death saving throw, please. All right, let's see. A oh. failure. All right, the mysterious orbs will go next. The orb on the left will move. Two to the east. Oh no. Okay, oh. Georgie, uh, as well as the dire wolf, will suffer the effects. Would of... I not get any because I never moved out of it? Well, the mysterious orb move. Oh, because it moved. Okay. Yes. Okay. So uh, you will suffer the chaotic discharge, while the dire wolf will suffer the overwhelming energy and be stunned. The elemental type this turn is thunder, so I need a constitution saving throw from you, DC 10, which you pass with flying colors. The dire wolf, on the other hand, will suffer not so bad, but will be stunned. Okie dokie. Uh, the other mysterious orb will move. Two to the right. Oh no, this lizard folk will suffer from the chaotic discharge. Uh, a force, which it needs to make a constitution saving throw, which it passes. Okay. Malcolm, give me a death saving throw, please. You suffer a failure. No, uh, plus three, ten. Oh. Oh. Oh, that is that is a pass. All right. That, that is wild that death saves benefit from that. The dire wolves will go. Uh, Jojo does does get to act. When oh. I'm incapacitated, he gets to action. Yes. What what can Jojo do without commands? It can attack. I believe it can take any action. Oh. Um, okay. So the first thing that Jojo would do is look down at the body of his crumpled master, weep a silent tear, and then 
rage at this direwolf. All right. 23. If you are incapacitated, the defender can take any action of its choice, not just dodge. All right, a 23 will hit. Uh, you had advantage since it's incapacitated, uh, and it will suffer four force damage. Um, all right. Uh, so this dire wolf will attempt to get out of the overwhelming energy at the start of its turn. Uh, it needs to pass a DC 15 con save, which it does with a critical save. Uh, it leaps out of the way. Always. Uh, what's that? Attacks of opportunity. Always. Yes, yeah, it we, does provoke like attacks quick. of opportunity from Georgie, Mac, uh, Macbeth, and Jojo. Georgie misses. Uh, Macbeth and Jojo both hit, and and that's going to be the end of this dire wolf. Does... Oh wait, mine does mine go off? Then? Yeah, does it does... stop the dire wolf's movement? Uh, no, no, it's not. I'm not does... saying that. I'm um, I'm just saying like uh, who's goes first, right? Because it would go. Jojo would get his first. I was bad. I'm so not take my... you kind of all have to declare the attacks first uh you can't just wait and see it has to be like when i say oh, no, i would declare it but like uh -huh. if if he's dead i'm not yeah. gonna attack a dead oh, guy right? yeah, yeah well but you don't know if it's going to die when you're attacking simultaneously with jojo and georgie oh Are... so it just goes off anyways y y yeah if you declare okay. it, it it happens um okay uh, the next, this last surviving direwolf will go next. Um, oh boy, what are they, what are they gonna do? They really want to end this. They are going to, they're gonna go into the orb space, and they are going to suffer, um, yes, uh, a con save or take damage. Um, uh, they pass. Uh, they are going to bite Georgie with a 20 to hit for seven piercing damage, and I need a DC 13 strength save from you, Georgie. Sure. You pass. All right. And that brings us to Macbeth. Uh, two of your friends have fallen. Uh, Georgie and, and your pal Jojo uh, stand at your sides um, as lizard folk surround you. What do you do? I am going to go here, and I'm going to take two, uh, two attacks at this guy. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm going to move Malcolm a little bit. Oh, a critical hit and a and a regular hit for fifteen plus nine is twenty four damage, which will slay this dire wolf. Yeah. Which one slays it? Is it the? Is it more than fifteen? It's the second attack that does. Okay. It's had 20 HP. Then I am going to um I believe you have 25 feet of movement left. Uh I just wanted to check um the my reach. Uh I can't use a you can't use a bonus action to stabilize someone, can you? I'm presuming that's just. I don't enough. think so, unless you have a specific spell or or effect that does. No. Uh, if you want to stabilize them, and you need like a full action to medicine, medicine check. Stabilize, or if you have a healer kit, just an action will do it. Oh no! I'll. Uh, I guess I'll stay here. Okay. Uh, Malcolm is below you. Uh, Georgie. Sorry, I was muted. Uh, let's see. Whew. Getting real interesting here. Uh, yeah, I'm... To survive. <laughs> the sanctuary I guess I was gonna cast on him, I cast on me. <laughs> it's getting used regardless. Alright, so you cast a bonus action. Sanctuary on yourself with a bonus action. Yeah. And if we establish that to eat a good berry takes an action? Yes. Um, yeah, I am going to 
eat uh, one of my uh, six health good berries. Ooh, okay. Any movement from you, George? Georgie, excuse me. <laughs> no problem. Um, yeah, I'm going to move the suit one. I guess I'm going to move just on this oh. side over here. All right. And that brings us to the lizard folk. Uh, they are going to close in here. Uh, this lizard folk and this lizard folk. Uh, this one is going to throw a javelin at Georgie. With a miss, this lizard folk will step in closer and fire a javelin as well at Georgie, missing as well. Uh, this lizard folk is going to step out of the mysterious orb. Uh, what about sanctuary? Did, yeah, I was going to say, did oh. the lizard folk take five damage because it attacked someone with sanctuary sure, without? It sure did. Oh, both of them attacked. All right, <laughs> fine. There's so much to track here. Cut me some slack. All right, uh, these lizard folk uh, will step. This one steps out of the orb and comes over here and will fire a javelin at Georgie with a 17. Uh, but they will Wait. fail because they didn't do their sanctuary check because I forgot again. This one will come over here and it's going to multi-attack Jojo. The heavy club with a critical hit and a spiked shield hit. For nine plus six is 15 damage to Jojo. Zagig's second death saving throw. All right, come on, 20s. Come on, 20s. Oh, second failure. All right, uh, the mysterious orbs go next. Uh, the one on the left uh, will move. A knight's move down, left, left. Oh. oh. Ooh. Oh, this is just sad. All right. Overwhelming energy. If for any reason a character and the mysterious orb occupy the same square, the overwhelming body of energy stuns the creature and deals 1d10 damage. Uh, you will take one thunder damage. Okay. Um, I believe that Malcolm is also subject to that. Malcolm also, uh, Malcolm, make me a constitution saving throw. I think I auto fail, don't I? I don't think you auto fail pawn saves. saves? On, I think it's just dexterity and strength checks. Let's see. If you are incapacitated and stunned. Strengthen, you failed, de strengthen dex saves. And capacitated, you cannot take actions or reactions. Okay, so con save, please. You pass, you take no damage. All right, and then the second mysterious orb movement will be a knight's move down, down, right. And it will stop there. Uh, Malcolm, your de uh, death saving throw, please. That's a pass. That's a second pass, and no failures for you. Uh, and that brings us to Macbeth. You can give yep. me a DC 15 con save to pull away from the orb, moving five feet away from it, uh, which will trigger chaotic discharge. I think I've been forgetting that one before resuming your turn. Uh, Jojo gets to go as well. And, and I'll, I get to sleep. Oh, right. You're right. Okay, so you fail and take another... Necro uh, two necrotic damage, Macbeth. Uh, meanwhile, Jojo gets to go. It'll just bite into this lizardman. Ooh, with a huge 26 to hit for eight force damage. Big damage. Uh, and then that brings us to Georgie's turn. Yeah, he is going to have a good time uh, back good in time. the way. No, uh, you can heal people without breaking your sanctuary. Hint, hint. I, I, I don't have anything to heal. <laughs> I think he's out of spell slots. Do you no, have medicine skill? Yeah, you can force feed uh, the 
the berries, right? <laughs> that requires a check. Crazy check. Yeah. Do it. We'll, we'll be I'm, fine. We'll get through it. All right. I've I've failed two saves. Last next one kills me. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't get to you though. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Even with the twenty five. All right. Now with the sanctuary, I don't think you can attack either, or can you? Um, I can re. Oops. Can't attack, but he can heal. Ah. Okay. Yep. All right, so anything for you, Georgie? Um, let's see what I can do. Oh, man, sanctuary. Um, I'm moving down here just because I got I'm going to uh, heal with one of my good berries. So that'll put me up for another six. All right. The lizard folk go. Uh, they are going to come over here. These two are going to fire javelins. This one's going to fire a javelin at uh, Macbeth, who is stunned. I believe they have advantage. Yep. Yep. Stunned. Attack rolls against the creature have advantage. A 17 nice. will still not hit. Uh, meanwhile, the rest, this lizard folk, uh, is going to move in and is going to multi-attack Jojo with the heavy club and spiked shield, dealing eight bludgeoning damage. Uh, these other two lizard folk will also both multi-attack. Heavy club, spiked shield from one, heavy club, spiked shield from another. I don't think any of them hit. Nope. Jojo's just tanking like a boss. All right. Our beloved Down Zagig. 20. Our beloved Zagig. Death saving throw. All right. Nat 20, easy. I feel it. I need that nat 20. I can do so much with a nat 20. No. And he's gone. Not with a bang, but a whisper. Yep. Our beloved Zagig fades. Unfortunately... Oh, the weight line used that, health care uh, for a good death save. Use that paladin uh, bonus so well. And I got stunned. Unlucky. All right. The mysterious orbs move. Uh, the one on the left that is locking down Macbeth will move first with a knight's move up, up, and left. Oops, I, I need to move you, Macbeth. Sorry about that. Uh, the second one on the right side will move two down. Malcolm, third death saving throw. You have two successes so far. And you are stabilized with a third. And that brings us to Macbeth, who is no longer stunned. Oh, Jojo uh, still gets a turn. Yes, I keep forgetting Jojo. Jojo is a person. Macbeth, take five damage for acting out of turn. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Go ahead, Jojo. Uh, Jojo will dance with this lizardman on the right all right and miss the cool dance moves do not translate to formal attacks unfortunately all right uh georgie you're down here with your s oh nope i skipped Macbeth. Macbeth, it's your turn okay i'm going to not much i Actually, okay, I'm going to move here and I'm going to take an attack at uh, this one. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, nine damage to the lizard folk. And then I'm going to attack it again. A 14 will not hit. Uh, you clatter against its spike shield. Okay. And uh, that's my, I guess it's my turn. All right. Georgie, you're down here with the sanctuary. Yeah, this is now the time that I'm going to have to break it to attack. Um, I'm going to attack this lower one that's closer to me. Okay. 
Uh, and I'm gonna cast Sacred Flame on him. All right. It barely oh, passes. Oh my gosh! Again. Oh no! And I'm I'm gonna rub it in, Georgie. Once again, it has exactly that much HP. <laughs> Any movement uh, from you? Yeah, I'm gonna move uh, behind the pillar. All right. The lizard folk will go, uh, and they will start with the one up top is gonna multi-attack Jojo with a heavy club missing and a spiked shield hitting. I'll use my sanctuary. Your sentinel? Not sanct sentinel, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Jojo takes five damage, uh, but McMeth strikes with a 20 Whoa, for 12 big damage. I think that's max. Yes, well done. Uh, the middle lizard folk will go multi-attacking with a heavy club missing and spike shield uh, hitting Jojo for six. <sighs> oh, got one HP. Got one. All right, this lizard folk will multi-attack on the bottom with a heavy club missing and a spike shield hitting oh. to finish <sighs> off Jojo our beloved gorilla steel defender. Uh, the, the lizard folks will move to surround Macbeth and I'm gonna move Jojo and I'm gonna move a lot of stuff so we can see better. They will surround. Uh, and that will be the end of the lizard folks turn. The mysterious orbs will go next. The one on the left will move. Uh, erratically up right right boop boop uh the lizard folk um oh right oh i forgot that, that about that lizard folk up there whoopsie uh the second mysterious orb will move two south one east uh he takes five right no why the aoe the the effect only happens after the orbs movement it's not during the movement. Oh, okay. It's at the end. Uh, I'll I'll specify that in the text for next time. Uh, Malcolm is stabilized, and it is Macbeth's turn, who is surrounded by lizard folk, uh, and and his <laughs> perhaps dying friend. You're not quite sure. You don't perhaps know Malcolm stabilized, uh, but they are knocked out behind you. What do you do? Well, let's, let's try it. I'll take a attack on this guy. Okay. A 23 will hit for 10 damage, slaying that lizard folk. And I'll attack this guy. All right. A 9 will not hit. Okay. And, uh, all my turn. All right. Uh, Georgie. Yeah, I will move over to the side to see what I've got to deal with. Um, yeah. The one lower again, I will attack that one. All right. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get 15 again, but... Oh, oh my gosh! Oh! oh. <laughs> oh wow. Bummer. That is oh. so sad. And then I'll move, I guess, right back. Jeez. All right. The lizard folk will go. This one will come down here. And, uh, Macbeth, you're going to suffer three multi-attacks. Three heavy clubs. Miss. Miss, miss, and miss. And three spiked shields. Hit, miss, miss. Take six piercing, please. I'm gonna move this to the back so we can see your HP there. All right, uh, that is the lizard folks turn and now the mysterious orbs, the one on the left will move. Two to the right. Oops, that's too far. Uh, the second mysterious orb will move uh, down, down, right. Wow, this orb just keeps marching down along this wall. Uh, and that brings us to Malcolm, who is stabilized. So it is Macbeth's turn. Um, hmm. Looking at the situation. Wait, I just, I can't see how much health. Can I just quickly move my character? character to see that yeah that. sorry i i can move okay. them up and down in go. like and here i'll just i'll just move okay so it's about half seeing the situation um i'm trying to stay alive i 
Paint. All right, I'll just pick the back. Um, let's see. 21 for five. Uh, and that was against which one? Th this one down here. Yeah, 21 will hit for five. And then I'll do another one at the same one. You clatter against its shield. Georgie. It has to fail once, okay? I'm hitting on it again. It's gotta fail one time. Come on, please. I only, oh, only, I only just five, noticed though. Rob's uh, changed camera. <laughs> oh. All right, the lizard folk <laughs> will attempt to dodge. They will pass. Oh my! Is it, there is, it's got plus one. zero. There is no, there is no sacred flame action down here. Wow! Alas, yeah. poor you are. Move back. Yeah, I don't think I've hit one in this place yet. I've done like seven of them. <laughs> All right, the lizard folk will go again. One of them will attempt to shove you to the ground, Macbeth, with a, a shove attack. Give me athletics or acrobatics against fifteen. Oof. One will give their other friend the help action. So basically, one of them is attacking you uh, with advantage on the heavy club. A 23 will hit for eight, and a normal spiked shield attack will miss. Okay, well, nice. The mysterious orbs will go next. The one, the one up above will move, uh, a knight's move down right, right. And the other mysterious orb down here in the corner will also roll two to the left. Funk, funk. And it is Macbeth's turn. Mm. Oh, I have six. Oh, I just want to see that guy's key again. Uh, you know what? All else fails. I'm gonna ready a dodge. Uh, dodge action. You're just dodging here. Yeah. All right, Georgie. Yep, I'll move back out and attack that same one. Let's go. All uh, right. Please just fail once. Pass. Oh my god. That is oh my god. Crazy. And I'm just gonna stay. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna go back into cover. All right. One lizard folk will attempt to shove you to the this ground. Is oh wait. Oh, if they multi-attack, they can make a shove attack with one of those. Great. All right, beaten 11. It's a disadvantage, right? No. Oh, wait. Well, it's uh, no, because no, it's, it's contested, so they don't have to roll to hit you. It's just like you have to beat them as they like bump into you and try and knock you down. Well, have to roll to do the strength check, right? Right, but it's not a roll to hit. They just... They can contact you and attempt to shove you. It, it's okay. Yeah, uh, strength. So, strength so at, at, you get to roll athletics or acrobatics. I'm gonna do athletics. Okay, Goals. you pass. Uh, and it will attempt to hit you with its club with the other attack missing. Uh, the other two lizard folk will multi-attack with disadvantage. Two heavy clubs missing. Two spike shields missing. Mysterious orbs will go. We're just in this crazy cyclical uh, down, left, left. Let me move these left. I'm going to just move these corpses out of the way here. Uh, the other mysterious orb will roll movement two to the right, back into the corner. Macbeth. Dodge and uh, follow the left. Georgie. Same as okay. always. Let's see if I can hit one today. Let's see who can just outpace the other. Yeah. A failure. Oh, it takes nine damage. It has one left. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I move back. The lizard folks <laughs> oh. will go. Uh, this lizard folk is going to step over Malcolm, step over here, and it's going to attempt to move away. I'm going to definitely use Malcolm. Uh, yep. You hit it. 
you deal 11 damage, which is also one shy of killing it. Uh, it will turn to face you, Macbeth. Uh, it will use the help action uh, and give its friend advantage on its first attack. 23. Um, oh, no, they I cancel would be still out. still dodging. You're dodging, so, so they not. cancel out. Its second attack, a 14. Unlucky. Uh, this lizard folk will multi-attack you and attempt to shove you with a strength check. It fails. Unless you somehow do worse than that. You can't do worse than that because you're a paladin. Nah, I have plus three. Uh, right. You can't. You yeah. cannot fail that. Uh, its second attack uh, will miss. Uh, the mysterious orbs will go next. Uh, the top one will move up, up left. The one below will move two to the northeast. Uh, it can't do that. It will pass to, to Macbeth. Dodge and pull the day. Georgie. All right. Uh, there's two of them that have barely anything. Yeah, I guess I'll just go on uh, either one of them. They both have one health, so. They do. Doesn't really, uh, doesn't really matter to me, I guess, at this point. Come on, fail. Fails yes. and dies. All right. Uh, then I'll move right back. God. <laughs> Just whittle them down. <laughs> All right. The lizard folk go next. Uh, this one is going to attempt to move away. And I will use my long sword. You hit. Deal five damage. This, uh, that same one is going to attack you, uh, Macbeth, with multi-attack. It will heavy club, missing, and spike shield for five, missing. This lizard folk is going to break away. Okay. And come over here. It is going to multi-attack you with a heavy club and a spike shield. Heavy club hits. Take three bludgeoning damage. All right, I will take it. The mysterious orbs continue to move erratically around the room. This one moves two down. The one in the corner moves two to the northwest. It gets there. Uh, Macbeth, it's your turn. I'll take an attack at this guy. Hey, okay, you attack, you hit, you kill. And then I'm going to move um, here and I'm going to attack uh, this guy again. All right. A 14 does not break through its shield. Georgie, you have one yep. enemy with one HP left. One last time, I'll say it. Take my shalele. Excellent. And take him out. You take him out. I can't believe Both it. mysterious orbs immediately just disappear. Uh, one of them, as it erupts uh, and, and kind of sucks into a vacuum, drops something on the floor. Uh, it is a potion of healing. Oh. Uh, <laughs> that would have been <laughs> useful earlier. <laughs> it's mocking us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. I guess I will uh, try to force feed him a berry to get him. I'll take the, okay. go to the potion of healing and I'll use it. Yeah. All right, uh, Macbeth, you use the potion of healing. Roll me two d four plus two. So uh, the way the way trying to administer like a healing potion or a good berry is is gonna work. I, I wrote a specific uh, rule for this. Uh, I I did say it applied to potions because I didn't think about good berries. But what I wrote is you cannot consume a potion, or a good berry, in this case, if you are incapacitated or unwilling without it being administered with a DC 15 medicine action by another character to force ingestion of something. If yep. you fail, it is consumed, but but the effect does not take place. Okay. How many of these good berries do you have? Eight. Okay. All right. <laughs> Go ahead and give me a medicine check if you want right. to try and force feed I've got... welcome. I've got a seven for this, so if anybody's meant to do it, it's me. All right. You pass, uh, yeah. and you administer how much HP for this uh, good berry? I did five. a lower one, so five. Five. Malcolm, you are healed to five. Oh, did we win? Uh, 
we won. And then I just point over at Zagig. Oh. Looks over at Zagig. Oh. Carry on, Wayward Soul. Uh, and, uh, and then I point down to uh, your, your buddy Jojo. Oh, Jojo. Knock him. Cradles the broken pieces of Jojo. Looks solemn. Says nothing more. All right. So, uh... Um... Macbeth desecrates each, like, literally just goes off on every single, like, he just desecrates the wolves, the friggin' lizards. He just absolutely he marks, like, a... Just out of fury, he just des- like, destroys them. Shishimi style. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what do you all have to do in the room? Oh, man. Uh, I guess I'm gonna pass out the rest of the good bears we got left. Uh, okay. I will give, uh, what's that? How many are left? Uh, let's see. I have three for five, so I'll give 15 of that to, uh, Malcolm. And then I have 20 here, and I'll give the rest of that 20 to our paladin. Okay. I got plus 20, yeah. And that's it? That's all we have? That's that's everything, because I used the sanctuary to get away. All <laughs> right. We got through the good berries. Oh, wait, I didn't use my plus four as well. I don't think so. I had six. Plus 20 yeah. is 26. Yes, yeah, so I have 30. And then, you know, I go up to the crotch, the old man dead on the ground with a smile on his face and I uh, I grab him, I put him on my back and uh, I say we'll die together and uh, we'll head off into the to the next room okay. sounds about right so I'll grab him and then I'll put his hand on the door as well and then I would say suggest eh what well, why? Uh, they go to the other room. Why don't we just stay here? Right away until the black and let a peaceful death happen instead of brutally getting murdered. Hypothetically, other people may want to see the other room. <laughs> <laughs> when you've lived a life full of nothing but murder, that seems preferable to peace. Yeah. I'm really glad that all you people are kind of crazy. Yep, we are. And I pat the crotchy old man on the head and wish he was here. And, and uh, with a solemn like gesture, he'll put his hand on the door and uh, he'll pray to his God and say, Please guide us through this next room, or at least make our death quick. And uh, he, uh, yeah, he put his hand on the door. Okay. You all place your hand on the door for three rounds, um, and if you all are okay with it, we'll just roll right into our next combat. All right, let's get Do this it. death short and sweet. Yeah. Okay. You all are transported after three rounds to the other side of the door. Is this your orientation? Sure. Yeah, that's okay. fine. You move to the other side of the door. In <laughs> front of you are three of the orbs. Oh, I need to move Zagig there. Oh, fuck. Uh, also oh, in front God. of you are quite a few half ogres and a bone <laughs> naga. Oh, uh, on the back side of the... Uh, the room, there is a massive double door inscribed with um, all sorts of ornate uh, images. Let's go ahead and reroll initiative. And, uh... Beth, Georgie, Malcolm. All right. 
All right, some half ogres go first. Um, these half ogres have quite a few uh, bandoliers of their own uh, on their arms with these javelins that they begin to pull off uh, and hurl at you all. Uh, Georgie, um, they are going to fire at you first. Oh, I think I mistyped the range on these. Let me let me double check half ogre range. Uh, their javelins have a range of 3120. So uh, this half ogre will come over here into range and will hurl a javelin at you with a 15 to hit. Does that hit, Georgie? Uh, no. Okay, thank you. Uh, the next one will, oops, step over here and will fire a javelin at you, Georgie, with a nine. The Bone Naga will go next. Um, they are going to step up here, more like Slither. Um, and they are going to, they are going to upcast Hold Person uh, at third level. Uh, so they can target two humanoids. Uh, they are going to target Georgie and Macbeth. Um, can I have both of you make a wisdom saving throw, please? Uh, yeah, plus three. You both pass. Okay. That is the Bone Naga's turn. Macbeth, it is your turn. Oh, I forgot to roll for the mysterious orbs. One sec. Oh, sorry, I should have just done one. Okay, uh, the mysterious orbs, I'm just gonna give them an initiative of one. Go ahead, Macbeth. Seeing the situation, seeing death in his, in his eyes, uh, what he does is, um, you know that scene in, like, um, Game of Thrones when, uh, Jon Snow um, uh, is against like that entire army trying to save his brother. He goes there and there's that scene of him like putting his sword up and uh, uh, just looking at the onslaught of his army chasing after him by himself. Mm -hmm. That's going to be that. It's going to be me standing in front and uh, he's going to prepare his uh, um, sword and he's just going to, I guess he's going to take a dodge action and uh, look at the onslaught of uh, ogres that are about to own me. All right. Georgie, javelins have been flying at you from these ogres. Uh, you've managed to evade them so far. What do you do? Yeah. Um... <laughs> I don't know how possible this is, but I want to go and use... Um... <laughs> Yuzaga has a meat shield by having him pretty much lay on top of me. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> like, yeah, if I, I'm gonna get on my, my, I'm gonna sit on my butt and just like cradle him kind of in my arms, hold him in there and just hold one hand out and cast, um, and cast, uh, what is it? Do you have spell slots still? Or no, Sacred Flame. Okay. Yeah, not a spell slot, All right. Sacred Flame. Which are you targeting? Uh, this one. All right. It passes. Oh. Anything else? No, that's it. All right, Half Ogre will walk up uh, and it will hurl a javelin at you, Georgie with an 18 to hit. Yep, it is. Wait, does the does hey, Zagig... Uh, no. No. Zagig, in fact, hinders because you're less mobile while carrying somebody. <laughs> Take 13 piercing damage. Uh, the half ogre in the back will run up here. Um, they will check their distance uh, and they will fire a javelin at you, Georgie, 
uh, striking you and laying you out on the ground. Uh, the yes. final half... Oh, that was that half ogre. It is now Malcolm's turn. Uh, Georgie just gets dropped uh, in front of you, Malcolm. Malcolm steps forward. Die next to his companion and fires two sharpshooter shots at the Bone Naga. Okay. That's a hit. 19. And, and a hit. Ooh, 21 and 15 is 16 plus 20 is 36 damage. Boom, more than half the, the Bone Naga's health. And uh, takes a knee. All right, this half ogre will step up, uh, looking over here, and will fire a javelin at Malcolm with a miss. The mysterious orbs will begin to move. Uh, the one on top will move two to the right. The one uh, in the middle will roll and go two to the southeast, going right there. And the third orb will go down, down, right. Okay, so for the orb up top, it will deal force damage. So, excuse me, uh, these half ogres need to make con saves. The top one will fail, the bottom one will pass. The top one will take some damage. Um, uh, the or ogre on the far right over here needs to make a save against Thunder, which is also Constitution, which it will fail and take some damage. Uh, ooh, it takes a lot of damage. Uh, this half ogre takes takes the damage regardless. They take quite a bit as well. Is he stunned or no? He is also stunned. Oop. Okay, and that brings us to that ogre, which will attempt a attempt a DC 15 con save to get out of the way. And I'll I'll just link the mysterious orbs effects again. Um, oh, my character sheets aren't loading now. I believe it's DC 15 con save. It's okay. That half ogre will fail and they will take another D10 damage. Uh, oh, well, I just gave away the damage. Take seven more. Okay. The next half ogre will go. This half ogre will step down here and run over here. Uh, they will make a battle axe attack against Malcolm with a 20 to hit for nine slashing damage. I will uh. use my, re I'll use my reaction. Mm -hmm. um, my sword has um, uh, an ability where I can actually blind. Um, yes. And I'm going mm -hmm. to blind this over. Yes, Radiant Weapon uh, has, I believe, four charges uh, that they can use to attempt to blind a target. Can you link me the blind effect, please? I don't have it on. Okay. I have it uh, written. Two, but, uh, That's 22 in Tasha's. Yeah. One second. I can just copy it. Uh, As a reaction immediately after being hit by attack. So you have Is to it, be hit oh. by an attack, so you can't use this. Oh, quite okay. Yet. Then I'll just use my sentinel. Okay. A 13 will hit the ogre, the half ogre, for 11 damage. Woo! Uh, and that will bring us to the Bone Naga's turn. The Bone Naga is going to attempt. To hold person once again using its second level three spell slot, its final level three spell slot. It's going to attempt to hold you both. Please give me wisdom saving throws once again. Um, plus, uh, plus two for me. Yes. Uh, Malcolm is held. Okay. Uh, you are paralyzed, and at the end of each of your turns, you can make another wisdom saving throw. 
All right. Uh, the Bone Naga is concentrating uh, and is going to back up uh, to over here. Uh, Macbeth, it's your turn. I am going to attack this guy twice. Okie dokie. Uh, the 24 will hit. Great. All right. The half ogre lets out a, no, we will defend our home. Die. Uh, Georgie, a death saving throw, please. Nat 20, come on, Georgie. You're muted, Bella. Oh my gosh, yeah, I was muted. Jesus. Uh, 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 where are you? There you are. A pass, excellent. Okay, uh, and that brings us to some more half ogres. Uh, this half ogre is is actually right there, but um, I was bringing their HP bar down. So they will, they have to move to try and get out of this. So they will suffer one, two effects from the mysterious orb. Um, so the mysterious orb will lash out with psychic and fire. Um, so it needs to make a wisdom save, which it passes with flying colors and a deck save for the fire, which it passes. It will step over here uh, and will charge towards Macbeth. It will use the help action on Macbeth. Uh, meanwhile, this half ogre is going to step over here uh, and fire a javelin at Macbeth with advantage. But Macbeth has plus two AC, so it will not hit. Uh, and that brings us to Malcolm, who at the end of your turn, you can make another wisdom saving throw. The DC is in fact 12, so not that high. Ooh. But you are still held. Uh, right. I believe it lasts for a minute. Yeah, concentration up to a minute. So that's round two of your hold. Uh, that half, this half ogre is in this orb, but they'll move out and they will fire a javelin at Malcolm who is held. So they have advantage with a 23 to hit or seven piercing damage. Mysterious orbs will go next. Uh, the orb, uh, just above Macbeth will move up right, right. The orb stunning the half ogre will move, going two to the right, stunning a different ogre instead. <laughs> Oop. Um, and then we'll do the other orb on the bottom, which will go two to the southeast, not moving. Okay, this ogre needs to... They're, they're just stunned, and they take damage. They take some damage. As poisonous, uh, like, a not acid, uh, just like gas emits out of, of the orb, stunning this ogre. All right, and that brings us to some ogres. This one is no longer stunned thanks to the orb movement. Uh, so it will run up and it's going to battle axe at Malcolm with advantage since you are held. A 15 will not hit. Uh, doesn't hit. All right, the ogre to the north of that ogre right in front of Macbeth will also attack Malcolm with advantage, not hitting as well. Uh, the Bone Naga will go next. Um, they are going to uh, go ahead and cast Sacred Flame on Malcolm. Uh, I believe you have disadvantage on deck saves. You fail and take five radiant damage, setting your HP to zero. Uh, how it feels being used against me. It does, it does feel bad. Ow, it hurts. Uh, and the Bone Naga, they will maintain concentration. That's fine. Uh, Macbeth. Oof. Um, the end is near. The end is near. But he's going to at least take out one of these guys. So he's going to longsword him. Ooh, that's damage. a hit for eight. Not quite killing the ogre, but nearly. And then again. A nine will not do it. And uh, he'll look at these guys, and uh, he'll uh, look back at Zagig, and then he sees Georgie 
you know, croaking on the ground, trying to, you know, stabilize himself. And then he sees Malcolm. And uh, he uh, shivers, but he looks this ogre that's almost dead right in the eyes as uh, the end is near. Yes, it is. You will pay for desecrating our home. Georgie, death saving throw, please. Yes, all right. I believe this is your second, which is also a pass. All right, some half ogres get to go. Uh, Macbeth, this one is going to strike at you with its battle axe with a 19 very nearly hitting you. Yep. Uh, this one will, being very careful in its movement, uh, lumber over here and will throw a javelin at you. You have plus two AC, so it will miss. Uh, and Malcolm, I need your first death saving throw, which is a pass. Sure. Technically, that's a 20 with my plus three, but he has to roll a 20 in his it's only on a natural, natural 20 that yeah. you uh, you benefit from the gaining, gaining one HP. Uh, this half ogre is stunned in the mysterious orb uh, and fails their con save, so they take uh, some damage from the orb as it emits uh, psychic damage. Uh, and then the mysterious orbs will move. Uh, the one up top will move up left left. The one uh, stunning the ogre will move two to the northeast, uh, going there and then there, uh, which will now hit the bone naga for with necrotic damage. So the bone naga must make a on save, which it fails. It takes some damage. It takes a bunch of damage. Because it took damage, it needs to maintain concentration on its whole person, which it fails. Malcolm, you are no longer held. Uh, and then finally, the mysterious orb on the south will move two to the southwest, uh, which it cannot do. Some half ogres will go next. Uh, this half ogre will step over Malcolm's body, uh, circling around Macbeth. It will use the help action for the next ogre who will use uh, a two-handed battle axe attack with advantage. A 17 will not hit. The bone naga will go. Uh, oh, actually, I'm going to use uh, my reaction. I'm going to blind this guy. You were, not you, hit. you were not hit, though. As a reaction yeah, immediately after being hit by an attack. Ah, uh, okay. Sorry, he just didn't help yet. Yeah, <laughs> That's okay. Uh, the Bone Naga has no more third level spell slots, so they're going to attempt to hold you with a second level spell slot. Give me a wisdom saving throw. Oh my god. Um, plus three. That's 10. And is a 10. You need to beat a 12. And the you are held. It is your turn, so you may repeat the saving throw at the end of your turn. And, um... You pass. You're no longer held. Oof. Okay. Uh, Georgie, another death saving throw. Yes, my last one, potentially. Not 20. Nope. All right, not quite. It gives me a chance. All True. right. This half ogre will use the help action for half ogre on turn five, who will run into here, uh, and they will um, use that help action to strike at you with a battle axe. With advantage, with a critical hit, hitting you oh for oh. 35 oh. damage. Uh, I have 30, so I I perish, and as I die, you'll hear like this uh, loud, like, well, maybe not every, no, you wouldn't actually hear it, but uh, you hear like a snipping sound, and then uh, in my body, you'll see like a um, like a like a thread slowly floating down as it's. Uh, as it was snipped, and, uh, my life vanishes in front of my eyes. Far away in a very smoky room, a very, very old looking man overlooks a loom uh, where several threads have just been cut. Hey. Well, um, we're going to take a short break. 
then we'll be back to debrief this run of Deadly Dungeon. <laughs>